Hey there everyone, welcome to your SBC week recap hosted by me and Hello. Cardinals. Yeah, so we're finally doing this. It's, we've taken our time, got the dock all together, and we're ready to do it, you know? Just before yes, week sir. two. <laughs> I mean, close enough. No. Yeah. I'll explain the way the docks lay out this, or, or how it's laid out this season. So um, we've got we're gonna do it in all the divisions in uh, this order. We're doing Buffalo first, the VGC, Rifhorn, the lowest singles division, and then Leipard. Right, and when we get onto each division, that we've got five, yeah, six bits, six parts for each division. We've got Zeus new, or oh, Zeus newly implemented the uh, match to watch. So we'll be talking about the result of that first thing. For each division then we'll move on to the match of the week the coach of the week the pokemon of the week and then uh your kill leaders and your final standings so uh, let's start with uh buffalo shall we yeah. and uh we'll, we also be doing this for every division and mm. i think we'll put like a timestamp somewhere in so if you don't feel like watching for example the vgc league you can skip to the singles one mm. So we'll uh, try and put a time step on the correct time in there. Yeah. So uh, let's go on to the um, match to watch, shall we? Yeah, we shall do that. So, so Zoo suggested for the Buffalon division to watch Scuba Squirtles versus the Terrible Time Trio, Coach Niels and King Snorlax. Uh, I believe his reasons were because they helped each other out in the APDLs because Snorlax kind of threw. And, um,. And they just wanted to see who the better battle was, or something like that? Yeah, I think so, and I think we just went over the matches, like, it, it's like early season, so for example, if you get later on, you kind of get like, you know, the deciding matches and stuff like that, and right now you just have to pick a match, so... It's hard to pick it early, so mm. I think the, it's just, just like, it's two people, who, like, Niels was here last season as well, Mm. Oh yeah, so they I both think that's that's more the reason. They you know? both were here last season, but neither of them made playoffs. But they did in another division or yeah. another league. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, as you can I, see, I think... the results were um, Niels won with a two zero. Yeah, it was kind of in his favor because he was up against Mono Ghost and he had Yveltal. Yeah, Yveltal. Um, I don't know. I think score wise, he was also very far ahead. What do you mean so by score wise? See. As in kill wise, you know. After the first map week. Oh, I get what you mean. Okay, never, never mind. Uh, I, yeah, he, he swept the entirety of his team in one game with a Volcarona. That's yeah, all he I lost. Let's see. That's a couple. Yeah, Volcarona swept him. So he lost Septile twice mm -hmm. so it's just like it's, it wasn't very close to this match but like as i said before like volcarona just does bits he also yeah. had an avelto who didn't even he got one kill that's the only thing it got oh so okay i'm there, there was the only thing surprised it did. about that so it's volcarona it just kind of sweet volcarona is such a beast like people still think volcarona is like you know yeah it gets rage powder but it's so strong yeah it's, it's got so like insane. 135 special in it or base yeah, like you know a rock, a rock move will ruin its day but 135 no. base spadef the spatak is pretty damn good yeah, great stats 105 base special defense is good as Ooh. well 100 base speed yeah that is 185 hp solid monk after a quiver dance you're so, talking uh, stupid numbers yeah just exactly so uh well done new and scuba squirtles mm -hmm. uh, congrats to the both of you and let's good luck for the rest of the weeks i guess it's not yeah not much more to really say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the yeah. match of the week then. Yes, match of the week we got we chose the the Farina Phalanx versus Hoffmania the um, Long Island Bloody Colos. Um for a couple of reasons, right? So um there was a couple of unexpected sets from both teams. Well um I know. I, I thought they were unexpected at least. Um, Hoff's Quiver Dance Unpheasant actually lowering the um, Groudon's attack to stop. I, I think Feather Dance then. Quiver Dance is. Uh... Oh yeah, sorry. Feather Dance. My bad. I wrote. Yeah. I wrote down Feather Dance on the notes. I just never said it. 
Yeah, Feather Dance to lower the um, Growlithe's attack to then stop his team or the um, his other Mon from getting destroyed, which I thought that was a pretty decent set. This is definitely unexpected though, and a uh, Break Break Growlithe from a Foreign a Phalanx there. Uh, break Break Growlithe. Yeah. What a I fight. can I can understand why because of Hop having like Dark Dark Urshifu. Yeah. But um, it was definitely something unexpected. Oh, uh, whatever. Mm. Like, in the end, it was a gate to Raim overall. It's mm. like, normally, it's like you, you take close to this game, but like uh, every week, one game was a 2 0, so it's like harder to pick. Except for such... one. Except for one. Was there one that? I yeah, there, there was one thing. that was a 2 1. Oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, wait, else? there was uh, Sick versus uh, Shady? Yeah, that sounds yeah, Shady. right. Yeah, that was 2 1. Mm. Also, when it came to game two, I don't know if it was actually, um, or if it was, but, uh, <laughs> Ice Punch from a Arshifu uh, single strike had me convinced it was, like, Scope Lens for some reason. Or Scope for it? Or what? Yeah, because it, it was, like, a couple Ice, pa ice, ice Punches actually critted. It was like two or three between the two games that actually hit or critted, I believe. I mean, there's a chance. I don't know if it was actually. What yeah. would be, you know, if it was Scope Lens or is it just? I don't a know. Guess? I couldn't. I couldn't find his set anywhere. Oh. So I guess yeah, they must might have, have shared been, it in like know. DMs or anything or something. Yeah, or they just didn't share it at all. It all happens. that. Yeah, either one hack works. But um, yeah, it had me. You had me very convinced that it was in Scope Lens Arshapu. Probably wasn't, yeah. but you know, it was probably like banded or Shifu or something, and you just got extremely lucky. But um, this was a 2 0 to half, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Right, so shall we move? Anything else you want to add on your arm? No, I think it was, uh, we covered everything. Right, let's move on to the coach of the week then. We've got Sequeriton, the coach, the um, pinning chess pins. And um, we chose you as the coach of the week for. Uh, everything's just disappeared out of my head. Hang on. So it's like we said, he faced uh, Shady. Mm. With, uh, so that's, this, it was like the closely contested game. He brought the team of uh, Volaby. The, I mean, Volaby is funny. I didn't expect him to bring it. Yeah, he ran I, Tailwind I, I expect, I, like he, he brought it against me the second week. So we'll get on that next week. Mm. But of course, I have a mono psychic team, so fair enough. But like, uh, it, it does bits. Like, it still gets the, a lot of the same things Mandibus gets, just worse stats. Mm. Then you got Luxray. Very, I feel underrated. It's, it's not fast, but like, you know, it still has, it's still another Intimidator. Electric types are good. Yeah. And it has Neelego, Surf Fetched, Mamoswine, and the. Uh, bulky firebird itself ho oh, oh. oh yeah if it wasn't clear this is the team that he actually brought to the match the team of six yes i don't know if you uh, you were probably that yeah, we didn't explain it but i felt it was uh, obvious enough yeah i was just pointing it out just in case someone didn't find it obvious which i'm just, i'm looking at the matchup i'm surprised something like rillaboom never showed up or like Sil mm -hmm. possibly sylveon because um, Shady had quite a, f quite a few Pokemon that were weak to like Fairy. Yeah, three weak to Fairy, five weak to Fighting. Yeah. Grass only two. So in game one that they faced was uh, he brought I don't know what he brought. It's like Sir Fetch got a kill and it died, and his Neelego got three kills without dying. So it's like Neelego. Uh, does the bit like the team that Shady brought was the Crossma, Duskvane, Incineroar, Primarina, Mimikyu, Zapdos, and Tangrowth. So you can see that yeah. the, uh, the, the Illegal goes in hard there because there's three months already that's it's super effective against four if you got mm. Incineroar with rock types. Yeah. So. Did you say Slazzle too? No. No, because if he brought like Slazzle and a. Uh, uh, you got Tangrowth, Pymarina, Mimikyu, and Incineroar were strong against the like then you have Zapdos mm -hmm. and Necrozma, which is like the other way around. Yeah. 
Uh, then game not two, entirely. Uh, if you if you count Zapdos' flying type, it's ah true, true, true. Plus, so yeah, Neil Eagle go going in there, you know, beast boosting up, getting some mm -hmm. kills in. Yeah. Then second game, Shady brought it back. Then third game was a bit of everything. Valabi actually got a kill that game. Oh wow! Gotta get it. That's huge. Must have been uh, most likely a uh, foul play on the Necrozma. I yeah, think. probably. Anyway, Sigurdsson, you get the coach of the week. Interesting match. I was definitely it not. It was a foul play, but it was not on the crossbar. It was a mimic you, but it was a foul play. I wasn't. So I'll I'd, take that. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't expecting a uh, tailwind volleyball, but you know. Yeah, I did, uh, and I also have to give it to his uh, nicknames here. At some point, had a combo of uh, small bird boy and big bird boy, <laughs> and volleyball and hall. That was so like his naming. Sick naming. Ten out of ten. Yes. Good names. And then, uh, of course, he had Farfetch, he's another bird, so that was Strong Bird Boy. <laughs> so, uh, A for effort, love him. Yes. <laughs> Let's move on to the Pokemon of the Week, shall we? Yes, Pokemon of the Week. We got we have Rotom Fan. Rotom Fan, the underrated. Uh, what tier tier five. Is it? I think it's tier, tier five. five. Yes. Yeah, so, here we got a tier five Pokemon, which I feel might have been a bit low. But you know, it has uh, not the best. Uh, you want to say that? You want to say that? 105 special but attack. It, 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 no, 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 I'm not shitting. I'm not shitting on it. It's like if you compare it to, like, for example, the other types, it is just worse because it's weak to all the other Rotoms. That's 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 more the reason why yeah. it's. I mean, it's a got bit worse. Double immune. I, to, I still think it's good. I don't think it's bad. Ground. It's uh, I I I I don't know. If we asked this. I don't know. How, I hope he still brings it once. I want to see a air balloon Rotom fan just yes. for me. Please do it. I don't know if that was. Uh, a, I don't know if they ran it this week. But still. I don't think so. I don't think they did. But uh, it got five kills. Yeah, so, uh, it is the kill leader at this point, shared with another oh, Pokemon. He just spoiled we'll it. That. Jesus Christ, you are. What is it? Disappointed. Do you just say what I say? I, don't, I have to explain anyway. That it's, yeah, uh... fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, he got a lot of kills. Did uh, put in great work for. <laughs> it uh... took all the kills in game two. Exactly. Look at that. That's great. Should we? Since we've already spoiled so... it, let's go onto the kill leaderboard. So that was uh, Rotom Fan and yeah, Slice Matoad sharing the yeah. first spot. Then we got Volcarona in third, Nihilego in fourth, Urshifu Single Strike in fifth, Heatran and Nidoqueen sharing Bird. sixth and seventh, Quick Stella Bird in eighth, and Eternatus and Lycan Rock in Later. dusk. That's so fun. In nine and ten. My right. boy Della Bird got yeah, kills, so man. Look at that. Unexpected Pokemon are on this list because you see Delibird. Oh wait! Oh shite! Hang on. So, the, so this 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 just shows what do you mean you need uh, restricted Pokemon? Look at that. The only restricted that. that's actually on this list is Eternatus. It's, yeah, and I mean, and uh, you got a couple of other legendaries in there, but yeah, single no. strike. Dele he turned into an outkilled by a Delibird, you know, the shade with his hunter. <laughs> I mean, technically no, speaking, can't show his face anymore. He's done. Does kind of share its spot with um Delibird with the um, same nah, cape. Nah, but Delibird, I said outkilled, not not yeah, the KDA. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. So yeah, so that's. Uh, I mean, it's always fun to see. Like, I think it it will change them later on. Oh like, yeah, it'll how it is. it'll get a bit more in the um, restricted no, be side. Back, back to normal maybe. Back to normal. So yeah, we can go to the standings now. Yes. I would say. Uh, so we got Scuba Squirtles, New Orleans Ninetales, Galactic Porygons, Dallas Doralodons, Toxapex Stands, Austrian Ostropods, uh, and Long Island Lily Colo sharing the top seven yeah. spots with a 1-0 plus 2. Pinning chest pins is, uh, holding that eighth slot, slot with a 1-0 plus 1. And I don't... Uh, breaking Zolts with a minus 1. And uh, then we got the uh, Tyrannical Tyranitar, Farina Thalang, Splimit Pangoro, Soucher Umbreons, Long Island Gumi, Sterile Time Trio, and the Kokada Corvignite Raiders. Sorry, we've got to change this team name real quick. Minus two. 
No, don't meme me like this. I already, I, I actually applied to another league with the name, so you can be happy. Yeah, I know. You applied like five, like two weeks down the line. What do you mean? We had apps out on like the 12th for that. You applied today. Yeah, because I didn't know I want to play, but we'll discuss that later. Yeah. So, uh, I think this is just calculated based on kill death ratio. I don't I know. The site is confusing. Yeah, so it's, uh, Congrats on everyone who won their week one match. Yeah, congrats on everyone. Sucks to suck to lose. Yeah, yeah, feel. yeah. I don't know how that okay. feels. No, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Never lose games. Never <laughs> you know, you got games. the two mods here that are zero to two. Couldn't be us. Couldn't be us. I mean, there was actually, I think, wait, not not every mod lost. Duck lost as well. Yeah, but that's Duck. Duck, lo oh, Duck always loses. Yeah, it's Duck. He lost to an Umbard and Sceptile. But let's, let, let's be nice, it's his birthday today. Duck's no, a great guy. No, we can, we can shit Duck's talk him. Duck's not put, that good. No, we can no. shit talk him. I can put this out. It's specifically up yeah, he, he's, he's one uh, minute past midnight. He's so mean. So we'll, we'll, we'll get on that later, because otherwise we're going to make the video act <laughs> super long. He like... was so mean to me today. He called me a boomer. It's not allowed anymore. But let's go to the next division. Right. We got the Rhyhorn Division. Oh, piss. Rhyhorn. Get rid of that bottle. Piss. Right. Nah, it's okay, it's okay. Just fixing up stuff while I'm going. Right, so the match to watch. Zeus suggested watching the Miami Minicues versus the Crimson Coppers. Because they faced each other, what, like, end of the season, last season? Yeah, I think uh, Miami, Miami Minicues. Mimikyu. So Crimson Coppers is slimy steam, I think. They actually knocked him out of playoffs, if I remember correctly. Might have been wrong, but like, Slimy was in playoffs contention like the entire season, and I mm -hmm. think he lost like his final week's games, and then he got knocked out. I think it might have been Miami Mimikyu. I might just be wrong and just right, I'm talking gonna, gibberish uh, right now. I'm going to read exactly what uh, Zoo said. For Rhyhorn, oh, yeah, that, that for well. Rhyhorn, we have the battle between Slimy and Donut. Last season, they fought and Donut got 6 0'd by the mod that is Slime. Oh, never mind. That was it. Will <laughs> will Donut get his revenge this week, or will he fall to the man that is Slimy? I got it wrong. There was someone else who beat Slimy like last last week and go knocked him out of players. So uh, yeah, Donut. Uh, Sli Slimy is actually quite funny. So Slimy played last season. No, Slimy he just got, constantly. Uh, he didn't got make playoffs. I think he went right five in. five. He got three or four six O's in regular league season, and he did not make playoffs. Let's have a look. What he probably was like. It was like, was it Lipard that you used for um, last season? No, wait, I can check. I can check it for you. Uh, too late. Oh, it's already noted. So the site got destroyed. It's gone. Uh... Can't see it anymore. But yeah, so it was a matchup between uh, Donut and um, and Slimy. Slimy got back on top. It, he, but it was not a 6-0. Look at his improvement. He went from 6-0 to a 3-0. So next year, next time they face, it's going to be 0-0. So I don't know who wins. Someone is going to die last round to recoil. It has to happen. Am I, not, am I wrong, Garden? That's how it works, right? Yes, exactly. Chain of events. So if they face each other, and this is a thing that must happen. It must happen. So well, if you face it, like, where, like just script it. Find a way, make it happen. Otherwise, I'm gonna look dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Otherwise, uh, get banned or something. Okay. Match of the week. We got the Richland Right Shoes versus LA Dodrios. Uh, what happened? I wrote down notes. It was a close what game. That? That's what. Yeah, it was. Uh, King I think the. 2 0, I believe. LA Dodrios did end up winning 2 0. Hmm. Wait, no. Right choose 1-2-0. Um, no. Was it? Yeah. No. I literally watched the entirety of the 70 plus matches. Sorry, 70 right plus you? turns. I mean, you're gonna be wrong. Yeah, try proving me wrong, Yoram. I know Just I'm right. Check. Okay. You're not. Uh, I, I, ah, I can fuck, show you. I'm not right. Down. I told you. Wait. <laughs> Oh, then I must have wrote the wrong team in. Oh, Jesus Christ, I look dumb now. Little yeah, no, I wrote... It's okay. Oh, I wrote all my notes right. I just wrote Raichus instead of Dodorios. 
of trees. Right, yeah. It came down to what? Like, turn... Uh, fi final turns. It was, uh, so you have on the, uh, the... What is it called? The Darmanitan? Uh, the, the Rich and Right you side had the Sand Team with Powdon Mega Garchomp, uh, Dracozole... You're getting uh, it wrong had... too! Wrong team. What do you mean? That's LA Do Drios. Take, oh, take your on time. the way around. So the yeah. LA Do Drios is the <laughs> Sand Team, and the Rich and Right shoes has uh, Celestia, Nido Queen, Rotom, Heat, yeah, Mega Gallade. Comfy. Yeah. Okay. So that that's a team. And go So I think in the end, I think Nido Queen got a lot of kills. So it, it shows Nido Queen got three passive kills, which I think were toxic spikes or just toxic overall. Yes, toxic spikes and toxic. Just a mixture of the both. Yeah. So it, it it did end up getting a lot of kills in the end. Um. Uh, yeah. But in the end, uh, the the ending, like he had Mega Galade. Mega Galade could have done things because it was faster than the entire enemy team. But uh, the, uh, the enemy had sand up and it was Draco's old and sand. So of course it, it would uh, sand rush that out sweets the Mega Glade. And then a Bolt Beak, I mean Bolt Beak does the shit out of damage. Yeah. Mega Glade defense is not that high, so it died. Mm. But it, 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 it was a very close contested match, could have gone any way. Um, Plus, Darn, I think it was like Darn got two kills, Garchomp got three. Other other way around. Garchomp... Garm got three kills. Yeah, Garm got Garchomp three. got two, and then Dragos will finish Chomp. up the last one. Yeah. Also, want to yeah. point out, um, Rotom Heat off the of MOMO side had um, Pain Split, which was like... Tr yeah, tricked Pain Split side, so it, it went... I don't know if it was like... Um... I, I think it tricked... Ah, uh, Choice Scarf. It, 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 yeah, it, so it tricked a Choice Scarf onto the chance to make yeah. it like absolutely useless. That is a really good play off of him. It's a really good play. It's really good. Like, uh, that, uh, like Rotom is really fun in that way. Like, it's, it's tricks choice cards just run a lot because you can run regular like overheat full switch, you know, keep keep to play in because mm -hmm. you're faster. But if there's like one mod that needs to set up, like I have once uh, put a choice card on like a I think a dragging dancing mod, and then they're just kind of stuck there. Like, yeah, I have to switch out now, which gives you back the momentum, and then it can't set up anymore. Yeah. But like on mods like Chansey and Bliss, you keep healing and keep moving out, teleporting, stealth rockers. It's so fun to use. So it's a great play from that. So mm. uh, well done. Yeah, congrats. To the LA Dodrios on winning the match. Yeah, but also good good game to MOMO. You pull off a... It was a really close game, but uh, LA Dodrios managed to pull it off. Am I can you even still hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah okay. okay. I thought the microphone just decided to have a little spasm again. Should we move on to uh, the coach of the week for Rhyhorn? Yes, sir. Right, the coach of the week for Rhyhorn is Farfight Bidoofs. Their team consisting of, this week's team consisting of Blastoise, Clefable, Crobat, Mega Lati Ass, Greninja, and uh, Heatran. Yep. I don't know if I got the right Latte. I'm sorry if I don't. I I don't know. I can check for you real quick. Yeah, please uh, do. It is Mega. Here we go, here we go. Latte, yes. So you were right. Alright, nice. Yeah, so uh, they played a really impressive game. We actually watched this on stream when we were doing the right one. Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, we watched, watched it. it. Yeah. watched it on was, stream uh, when, we were play when we were doing the right one. The reason one. for it is it was a bit of a slaughter. Yes, it was a 6-0, uh, one of the only 6-0s we have had. I think it was the only 6-0 we had. Hey, there's not, maybe there was one in light part, I don't know for certain. There was a specific game that got close to being a 6-0 in yeah, right Yeah, there, there, there was... Uh, but it didn't. There, there was no 6-0, there was no six -oh. there's, uh, there was another close game in here that was not a 6-0 -oh as well. So It was. Uh, it could have been a 6-0 if one mod been, didn't die. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's uh, I mean that's a good trade, you know, show yourself, absolutely destroy the opponent. So it was uh, it was very well played. Uh, I think the other team maybe was a bit at a disadvantage. Like the other team just it felt like, you know, bond wise it was a bit. So yeah, it was a it was a very nice match show. Well done to the. 
fair fight Bidus on clinching that and uh Yeah. I mean if it's the only team that's six out they're also first now in the thing. First seed too. First seed for now, you know. You're you you you're the regular season champion for week one. Congratulations. Put that in your name title. Week one champion. Let's go. Okay. So moving on to the Pokemon of the Week. Mm-hmm. The Pokemon of the Week it is Excadro. For being the boy. Yeah, being the only Pokemon to actually kill every or just kill everything in yeah. one week's match. I think that was damn impressive. Yeah. So the team it was on, it was uh it was another sand team. There's two sand teams, so it was uh Gigalith, uh and then he has extra drill. Extra drill just uh, killed all the opponent's six Pokemon. He only uh, he, he so it's coached by Frey. Frey only lost one man in the end. He only lost his Gigalith while I think he's setting up the Sandstorm or I think switching out like getting it back up. And extra drill just kind of went ham, you know, just hits hard. Hmm. Just I think he just set up a swords dance and then just uh, completely sweep the went floor to out town of everyone. Pretty much. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's yeah. It's, Excadrill yeah, deserved coach yeah, of the week. Yeah, yeah. It, Excadrill itself just surprised us this week. Because um, I'll be honest, I haven't been, I haven't caught up with like all the matches here, and I, I don't think I plan to. But there is a lot of singles that I don't think singles yeah, I mean, matches I've watched just them all take now. long. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've watched them now, but I Yeah, we watched them I, like, No, if, if, it, if it's if I'm online and I see a live battle pop up, I'll watch it. But if I wake up in the morning and have six things of life battles, I'm tired, I'm not watching them. So yeah, that was the man of the week. Mm -hmm. Speaking of extra drill, it is the first kill. Or what first, a surprise. Yeah, what a surprise. With uh, my love tick, Nilo Queen, Darmanitan, Urshifu, Lopunny, Mega, Crobat, Latias, Victini, and Garchomp being the other members. So I, I feel like there's a lot of like close like two kills not that much to get but like of course it's like early so there's a lot of mons who are most likely on two one it's just like they mm -hmm. pick Victini and Garchomp for some reason like it there's probably like a lot, a lot of other mons that are on two one or like mm -hmm. on uh, one oh you know they're still in the same KDA so next week there might be eight different mons on here like I don't yeah. think extra Dome will drop down unless there's so many kills and it just dies instantly. Yeah, if it if it dies for like two weeks straight, I don't think it will get knocked off the leaderboard. Yeah, That's but nice. I, I think Exodus should be able to get at least one kill every match if you play it right. Oh yeah, better, really. Alright, yeah, so, so uh, let's go on to the standing, shall we? Leaderboard, yeah. So oh, in uh, the singles division, there was, of course, only 12 teams. So it's less teams to go through. Also less battles. Let so me on quickly first, fix we have this real quick. Fair fight Bidus. There's a there we thing wrong. There we go. Now it's all correct. And in second place, we have the Pogging Porygons. Then we have the Meloetta Idol Club in third. The Crimson Coppers in fourth. The Los Angeles Dorios in fifth. And the I Got Your Nose Pass in sixth. Both sharing the same spot, unless. Uh, yeah, both. I mean, being yeah, in a way. Then we got. Continental. The let me do this. Continental Turtles with. um. Zero to one, minus two, and rich and right choose with the same kill death ratio. Miami Mimikis with a minus three, Rhode Island Rampardos with a minus four, Washington Blazicans with a minus five, and the Storming Stoutlands with a minus six. Nice. nice. Right, let's go on to Lifeheart, shall we? There's not much we can Life really say. Okay, so yeah. the match to watch. We had Shandy, the coach of the Chicago Fire Chandeliers, against our very own Duck King, coach of the Bird Swarm, and Duck got completely fucked. Yeah. So uh, in VGC, there's actually three teams who are doing mono. In uh, singles, it's only one, and that's Duck. You can kind of guess which type it is by, well, if you know Duck. Yeah. Duck loves his flying types. <laughs> Loves ducks, <laughs> loves flying types. So uh, he has a mono flying team, and he went up against the Chicago Fire Chandeliers. Didn't go that well for him. I don't Kinda remember what the team or what's on his team, the Chandeliers. 
I just remember it being not a good time for duck. Oh shite, that's the wrong side. Oh, it was. Um, I can. There we go. I've got it up. Yeah, so it was. Let's see. Dragapult, mm -hmm. Keldeo, Mandibuzz, Rotom Heat, Rhyperia, Rosary, Aselgor, yeah, got... Amber Palm, yeah. Aromatisse, Articuno, Semipore, and Mega Mola. So the team Shandy brought was Rhyperior, Rotom Heat, Articuno, Dracopult, Mawal, Mega, and Aromatis. So you have the first three Rhyperior, Rotom Heat, Articuno, of course, having good advantages against like the Dux team. Dux team consisted of Cherished Mega, Y, Gligar, Tramorant, Thunderous T. Alucha and Shaman Sky. That's a good one. Charizard Mega Y. Just yeah, Mega Y. y? No, just it was why? Mega Y. You know, Y Mega. Anywho, anywho, no. this game was basically just a one-sided uh, beatdown. Uh, Charizard Mega Y had Solar Beam to deal with Rhyperia. Yeah, it got two kills. So and it still what did else? decent, but it was uh, managed Rotom to Heat dealt out a lot of damage. Articuno got a kill. And yeah. then, uh, Dra uh yeah, just, more while just suck got, up He got a very good defense. I think team. Duck was at some point he was like one three. I think one. He, he was it was one two at some point, but he had yeah. like three really low months. Mm. Uh, we'll get on that later on. Yeah. So yeah. Then the match of the week. It was ODF coach of the um, New York Sneasel Clues against Navrigi, coach of the Aaron Amber Palms. Now, uh, if. I remember correctly, this match was quite close. Yeah, it was very close. It was, I think, only a 1 0. And the mom that survived was. I, 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 if I remember correctly, I'll like go to the match real quick. I think it survived on like very low HP as well. I sw they still haven't submitted. What the actual hell? So there, there was one not so fun part that it was it, it ended on being a bit of a stall point at some point, but uh, uh, it was a 1-0 indeed. It was a very close contested match. The teams on the the by which one won am I just blind? Okay, which team was it? Sorry. Uh, the Sneasels, right? What are you looking for? Yeah, it was the New York Sneasel class versus the Aaron Amber Pumps. So the New York Sneasel class team was. Um... Wait. New York Sneasel Clues had Snorlax, Crabomin. Oh, I believe that's how it. Yeah. Crabominals, Decidueye, Orbital, Charizard Mega X, and Tapu Coco. The better and then Mega. That's against the. Uh, Aaron Amber Pumps of it had Mega Agron, Raikou, Umbreon, Zygarde, Poragli, and Tapu Fini. This was one so, where Zygarde couldn't become complete form, I believe, right? Yeah. It yeah, had it to be Aura Break. It's, it's, it's Aura Break, yeah. So eventually, the, it, it, it was only one kill. So Tapu Koko in the end got five kills, but it was, it was largely switching out because, for example, Charity with Mega X did it put in a lot of work, but he kind of had to deal with the Fini because. But I think they just kind of stall each other with like recover and roost at some point. Barky actually got three kills in the end, which is insane. Uh, but it's not a bad one. So it ended up being Tapu Koko with five kills in the end because it finished on two very low mons and it survived on seven percent HP. So it could have gone any way, either way. Like I, I, both teams could have won. Yeah, it, it was fairly close. Yeah, because it went down to a to Coco. Yeah, it's like Coco Co was already on seven, and he hit the thunder on the Perugly. Yeah, if I I've got my notes down somewhere, but I remember writing that it was um basically came down to two thunders. Yeah, he hit all his thunders. He didn't miss one. He's yeah, sorry. if he missed a thunder, that would have been game for him. Yeah, so he was very low on both his orbit. He was already on seven percent on. Is Coco as well? It was a yeah, so it was a Roost Coco. Mm. So the set was like U-turn Thunder Roost D Leaf. So it hit a Thunder on the the, the Fini to kill it, 
Yeah. Then Perakin came in and switched out. I think maybe pr predicting the fake out, so that it came out, so he survived that. Mm. Then it died to then his orbital died to a knockoff from the Perakli. Perakli was still on like 75%, but like his uh, session defense head is not that high. And then it hit another tinder to kill it because uh, Deagling would not have killed it because it was an electric drain U-turn would have done nothing and I think Roosting would have made him miss too much damage so it was yeah. very close match maybe a bit lucky but you know it's all part of the game so uh, I mean if for example that's the, the other team would have that's also luck yeah so yeah that's uh, I, it was a very close contested match so that's why it was uh, the match of the week also if you're watching this submit your bloody match please it takes literally no time <laughs> Especially for you singles player, you can just use Porygon Imp or the Porygon Import thing and have it done in a minute. Us VGC players just gotta take like Aww. five minutes. <laughs> Us VGC players have to take five minutes out of your day to do this. Yeah, five to ten, depending on if you're like on mobile or not. Imagine doing this on mobile. Oh, that would be painful, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right, let's move on to the next award, okay? I don't know why I'm calling them awards. But they basically are. Nope. Yeah. It, right. We the coach of the week for the Lipar division goes to the Banded Cap, the Maple Defenders coach Banded Caterpie, their team consisting of Mew, Zapdos, uh, Ar uh, Al Mega Altaria, Arcanine, Weezing, and Registeel. If I remember correctly. The match was... I don't entirely remember what happened in the match, but it was like... It was a... L oh wait, they went up against Cass. Uh, yeah, they went up against Cass, that's why. Uh, so Cass was actually at one last season, you know, hmm. the singles league. So, you know, that's already high contention. So, uh, I thought it was a close match. It was I think it was... The end tickets it was still a 0-3, but it still was... So it's like there was some fun set, like you had your regular Ataria set, which... Yeah. It was a 2-0 at the end. 2-0, the 2-0, yeah. okay. Uh, it had a Mew, Mew is, I, I find Mew very fun, it can go anyway. Yeah, it was this time wrong. it was a, a body press Mew set, <laughs> which is funny. Don't forget about the best move in the game, Roar. Roar? <laughs> yeah, Roar Mew. I'm not even Roar joking. Mew as well. Yeah, Roar body press toxic, we didn't see the fourth move. But damn, I wanna I wanna get into what the um Altario was running. Dragon Dance yeah, Altario was running Facade oh, yeah. Earthquake. Yeah, Facade like, Earthquake. Pick uh, after it megas we, we, it gets pixelate, so you'll talk yeah, about we, we did some calcs. So yeah. facade base damage is seventy, but if you have a status it goes to one forty. Mm. Then because it's uh, pixelate. pixelated it becomes a fairy type which makes it, but it also boosts the stats by 0.2 yeah, which you got makes 1 it 168 extra. and then it becomes stab which become, makes it 0.5 which basically makes it like a 240, 250 base power move if we calped it and it was like 252 if you get anything different, no, there's no yeah, so um, so that was uh, 140 base power times that by 1.2 and times it by 1.5 that, that is was insane. ridiculous damage. Because I've never seen like people run facade. Like yeah. it can just be me because I don't play singles. But mm. I thought it was very funny. Sad. So, yeah, yeah. That's... Uh, and I believe that's he what, and, and it, was, it was more for the reason of beating Kaz, which was the last season champion. Like you no, know, that's that's a good start. Mm. So I yeah, that was a uh, believe very that gave um. That gave uh, Altaria like three kills or something like that. Uh, Altaria did have three kills in the end, yeah. Like, but it got toxic, so it just got mm. chipped down a lot. It did run, it didn't run Roost, so it can't recover. Yeah. It... I'm kind of wondering why, because it went Dragon Dance, Body Slam, Facade, Earthquake. Earthquake, I get, because there was a uh, Gengar. Yeah. So... Wait. But then uh, still, yeah. but you got pixelated, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But you then consider Super Bad. I don't know why it went and Body Slam and Facade. Maybe get like a lucky paralyze off mm -hmm. but you know yeah that's we make mistakes sometimes you just gotta learn off them you know all right yeah. let's move on to the pokemon of the week we got yeah. mega mawile off of mega mawile was it so shandy's team yeah shandy's team uh, yeah. of course versus duck 
So mm. the reason for that was is what we said is like they put in some work, but Marvel just kind of could finish off Duck's team. Duck yeah. had, I think they were they were two one down, then it, so he had still at four months, but they were all very low. And of course, Mawa will get sucker punch, so Duck really couldn't do that much against it anymore. So the whole month just kind of died to Mawa in the end, yeah. which is you know, Ma Ma Mega Mawa is a very good man. Like it gets regular intimidate, and then it gets what ability does it get afterwards? Uh, that's a good question. Wait, I'm uh, let me check this. I think it gets so like regular huge Mawa power. gets uh, hypercutter intimidate sheer force. Oh. And Mega Mawa gets sheer f huge power. Yeah, huge power with a really big, so, uh, a mega, mega Double stat. CS text back of a Pokemon with this ability. And then Mega Mawile has an attack stat of... 105. 100. 105, so that's uh, massive. You know, Sucker Punch is kind of cute. Yeah, you talk about 210 without any investments. Or without much investments. And at max, you'll talk about, what, 300 maybe? Maybe even 400? I don't know. Yeah. My brain's off of VGC right now, <laughs> so it, it so yeah, that was. Uh, I mean, that, that that's why we we took it. So it was, uh, you know, just very well played by him. Mm -hmm. Duck couldn't really do it much against it because, like, you know, switching out. Yeah, you can keep switching out, but at some point he's just gonna take some other move and he's still gonna kill you because it was still like at almost full HP. So even if he didn't kick like it, like Duck didn't really have any other mods because, uh, apart from the Charizard, which I think. I think Charizard was still living there. Charizard was kind of Duck's only win con, but I think don't think he had a really good, really good move on it otherwise. It was just mostly attacking moves. Hmm. And then it just, you know, it just kind of, like, Mawa could still deal with it. Like, it, it dealt with the rest of his team. And Charizard was the only thing that could kill it, but Charizard, of course, couldn't really do anything because Charizard was already low at that point from fighting, I think, Rotom Heat a couple other months. So, D Duck uses Charizard was like his win con, but he, he couldn't pull up. So, it was very well played by, uh, Shady and uh, Shady. No, this is Shandy. Shandy, close enough. Yeah. No, close message. Shady is the yeah, play VGC play. player. Yeah, I know, I know. Right. So yeah, that was uh, deserved. Let's go on to the um, kill leaderboard. Yeah. So we got Tapu Koko yeah. reigning over them all with a 5-0. Zero Aura Mega Morwell being four or having 4-0. Altaria and Perugli being 4-3-1. Urshifu Rapid, Clefable with 2-0, and Latios, Tapu Fini, and Arcanine having 2-1. Yeah. I find it funny how I believe it's Ar uh, Urshifu Rapid have been on, or well, a form of Urshifu have been in all three of them. Um, yeah, so Urshifu Rapid was also there in Rhyhorn, yeah, but it was Urshifu Single mm, in this one. Yeah. It was actually really close. Uh, Urshifu Single Strike was fifth in the. Buffaland, then Urshifu Rapid Strike was fifth in Ryer, but this Urshifu Rapid is sixth. So they almost completed slacking. the Holy Trinity. They're slacking. Yeah. <laughs> Falling behind. Oh, I'm disappointed. Okay. Anyway, let's yeah. go on to the um let's finish this off. Yeah. So, so in first place we got the Chicago Fire Chandlers and the Sky High Skitties, both on one oh plus four. And we got the Atlanta Torchic Fillet and the Eterna City Scissors on 1 0 plus 3. And we got the Maple Defenders in 5th in 1 0 plus 2. And then we got the New York Sleezer Class in 1 0 plus 1. Then, for the um, lower half of the board, we got the Aaron Amber Ponce with a minus 1, on a 0 to 1 minus 1. The Flight Club on a 0 to 1 minus 2. Washington State Whoopers with a minus 3. And same with the Miami Overheats. And Bird Swarm and Chelsea Charizard sharing the last two spots with a minus four. I'm disappointed, Duck, but I'm not at the same time. Yeah. So yeah, that was the... That was it. Week one. Yeah. We'll be back so this time next week, I guess. Two matches. Try and get these out at the start of the week. Yeah. We will try. It should be... Yeah, I said try. It should be easier now that we've got like a little template. Because all we have to do is just take off the images and put more on for yeah. the next, later weeks. And if uh, one of you guys have any suggestions, or if if you want to add more to the doc, just add shoot more. me a DM or something. We can consider it, I guess. Or if you really want to be the the coach of the week, make your statement. Persuade us to your side. Yeah, we persuade might, us with a might, fifty page essay. Uh, I also take bribes. <laughs> Yeah, br so, you know, bribes from our Buffalo players, just like, 
send me a PM. So casually throw your matches and you'll be coach of the week. <laughs> no, okay, that was it. All so, jokes uh, aside, we'll be back this time next week to do, or hopefully earlier in the week, but can't make any promises. To um, do your week two once, okay? Yep. Alright. Take care, gods. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.